if we do not do something, there's going to be a third body. Tough talk today from the mother of a man who overdosed and died inside the West Hollywood apartment of a prominent Democratic Party donor, Ed Buck. The man was one of two men to die there. NBC4's I-Team has been following developments in these cases, and our investigative reporter Eric Leonard tonight has more on new legal action and a personal demand from a mother who wants criminal charges. Eric? Well, Chuck, activists have visited the office of L.A. County District Attorney Jackie Lacey, urging her to file criminal charges for the deaths of Jamel Moore in 2017 and Timothy Dean earlier this year. Both men died inside the West Hollywood apartment of Ed Buck, who has not been accused, arrested, or charged with a crime. Moore's mother made a personal appeal for action in criminal court. And for the first time, you'll see here, she's taking her own legal action in civil court. Arrest Ed Buck! Activists from several community groups, including Color of Change and Black Lives Matter, were turned away at the front doors of the Hall of Justice while trying to deliver more than 30,000 petition signatures demanding criminal charges. Leading the group, Letitia Nixon, Jamel Moore's mother, who flew in from Texas to address the crowd and deliver the signatures. She says she's tired of waiting. What is it going to take? What is it going to take? For DA Jackie Lacey to prosecute him. Nixon has told NBC4 she's also decided to file a wrongful death lawsuit not only against Ed Buck but also against the DA's office and the case prosecutor. I maybe cannot bring my son back. Nothing can bring him back. Um, I just want Ed Buck and whoever is protecting him to know that we mean business. Her 26-year-old son, Jamel, died of a methamphetamine overdose July 27, 2017. The death was initially ruled accidental, but after Nixon and activists demanded a closer look, the sheriff's department said it would re-examine the case, though no charges were filed. I just think they don't care. Her lawsuit accuses Buck of wrongful death, sexual battery, assault, hate violence, and other violations. It says Mr. Buck injected Mr. Moore with a lethal dose of crystal methamphetamine. Mean. My son's life mattered. Nixon's attorneys say Lacey is also liable for failing to take action, and they say that's because of Jamel Moore's character. It has a lot to do with Jamel and Timothy and the fact that they were black. Civil lawsuit doesn't only get some level of accountability from Ed Buck and from the district attorney's office, the county, um, in the language that they understand, which is money, mm -hmm. but it also enables us to expose what Ed Buck is doing. Nixon says Lacey owes it to the public to take action. She represents everybody, not just black people, everybody. She represents what's right. Now, Buck has repeatedly denied that he had a hand in these deaths, saying both Moore and Dean used drugs on their own and were willing participants in the encounters in his apartment. Buck's attorney told us this afternoon he'll fight the allegations vigorously. He said there's even more to this story than is being told, and if necessary, we'll tell the full story in a court of law. That's the attorney. The district attorney's office just told us in the last hour that they declined to comment on these allegations. Back to you in the studio. And if there's more to investigate, you can be sure that uh, Eric there and our I-team will be at it. They'll continue to follow this case and bring you all the new developments.